Hi, welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming Urban Gardener. This is Debbie, Garden Zone 5A5B. And what you're looking at right now is some sweet potatoes that we started way back in late January. I had some sweet potatoes that were organic that I had just purchased from a grocery store. I like a particular variety that are called Murasaka sweet potatoes, and they are basically like a regular potato on the inside. They're not really sweet on the inside. They kind of taste a little bit more chestnutty and you can just use sour cream and butter on them and chives just like a regular potato, but they have the benefits of being a sweet potato. So this is the sweet potato that we started. I had five of these that I started into a cup so we could just get some slips from them. And basically what happens when you add these sweet potatoes, you want to do that in a particular way. Let me show you how that looks. You can see how all of these roots down here are coming out of, I wanna say the pointy end of the sweet potato. So if you're looking at a sweet potato and you see this pointy end like this, then that is the part that you want to put down in the cup. And then I put two toothpicks, one on each side, some people put three, you can put four on each side just to suspend them a little bit above the bottom of the cup. So that way you'll have enough room for the roots. And this is just a clear plastic cup. Um, plastic is what you want to use because that's the easiest way to keep them from leaking. Um, and I just reuse these cups. I will put these away into a bag or something and I will reuse these for multiple years in a row so they will get reused recycled basically and you can actually see a little slip here sometimes the slips will come out in other areas other than just the upper part of the potato and here is the upper part of the potato it'll kind of look like this so you can see the little um, nodule here and then your slips will come out of this area now this potato is not quite ready we could probably take one of the slips off but they do need a little bit more growing this one was a little bit slower to grow so this one we could take off and get it um, propagated and that's exactly what you're going to do you're going to let the slips start on the potatoes again this is going to take about eight weeks for it to happen i've been letting these grow in my window on my windowsill since late january and most of my slips look like this. I've actually already detached these slips from the potato that I had these on and you can see that potato here. It actually made the shape of the cup in roots at that bottom end and then this is where I took the slips from. You can see the little places where I um, pulled the slips from the upper part and I'm actually going to put this one back down in some more water because it will actually produce some more slips you can see some slips there and i believe there was another one in a couple of other areas but look at the roots on that fantastic root system and you could actually get a few slips out of that but we've got a slip here on the side i'm just going to put this back down in some water get it suspended again see how many more slips it'll produce just as an experiment but this is the slips that you get. So you can see each one of these is about eight inches long. You can take these at about two to three inches, but I wanna wait until they're a little bit longer. So these are about eight inches. You can see they are beautiful growth on them, beautiful leaves. And this is what they look like when you detach them from the sweet potato itself. And then you're going to put these into another cup of water which this is a cup that I had saved. And you will just put the water in there and get these all in there. We've got a few here, got a leaf that fell off of one. And you will have a couple of leaves on these that will die back and things like that all through the time that they're growing. But you can see we ended up out of one sweet potato, let me count the amount of slips that we had. So we've got there's one slip, two slips, three slips, four, 
four slips. Well, I've got them kind of tangled up. Five slips. Six slips. Seven slips. And those are a little bit shorter. Eight slips. And nine slips. So out of that one potato, we got nine slips from it. And actually, there will be ten because there's another slip coming up right there. You can see that one right there. And again, we saw another one here a second ago. Potential of having even more slips come out of this guy. So nine slips here. And then it looks like on this one here, we will end up with one, two, three, four, five, six slips from this one, seven, seven slips from this sweet potato. And then let me show you the other ones that I have in the windows. And I'm on a south facing window, window sill. Now this one is a lot slower, so this year we will not be able to count on this sweet, sweet potato because it just did not produce and that happens sometimes. And this one, it looks like we're gonna end up with about four or five slips. And then we have another one over here with about six slips. So that's how many slips that you can get out of one sweet potato. So I did not need a whole bunch of sweet potatoes or an entire bag of sweet potatoes just to produce this number of slips, nine slips from that one. So that'll be nine slips that we'll be planting into the garden. And it'll be in, um, we planting some here. And we'll be planting some in our new home in Gillette, Wyoming. That's right, we're moving to Gillette. So we signed the paperwork two days ago, and that will be all up in the works. So, anyway, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for notices on new videos as they come out. And happy growing. These nine slips will be going into the garden once they are propagated in this cup for about three weeks. We will have a bunch of roots on those guys, so they'll be going out around the first week of June. So uh, look forward to seeing everybody again. Like and subscribe again and uh, make a comment below. Love to see what everybody's doing out there gardening, and we'll see you in the next one.